Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Traveler's Bastion, a free combination between this sort of horde survival genre and apparently a tower defense game. Kind of gives me like an action plants versus zombies vibe to an extent. But let's check it out here, out now on Steam. Um, Roy, Millie, I don't know the difference between any of these characters. Enter the Bastion. Gotcha. It's the meta progress stuff. Let's power up my attack power. I'm 1% more powerful. Absolutely. We have no records. Okay. Let's pop on in. Welcome, traveler. Stand in a lane to defend it from incoming enemies. Hold the arrow keys to move to a lane that needs to be guarded. If any of your six lanes are breached, you will lose. Select an auto attack. Shoot a small bolt that does 50 damage. 30 damage to enemies around your character. Strike and damage enemies diagonally for 50. Uh, I'm just going to go with the standard... Wow, what the heck? Standard bolt for now. Okay, so we're going to be shooting straight ahead of us. Okay, so straightforward for now. We just kind of pop up, defend our lane. We've got... Yeah, this, this feels... Something about the lane layout reminds me of, uh, of a Plants vs. Zombies. Send four short pulses around your character, each dealing 25 damage and slowing for a second. Meteor Blast, though. Do 100 damage and burn enemies for one second in an area far ahead. I gotta admit, I want a Meteor. So what does this do? Alright, so when that uh, when that bar is done, we drop a big blast, and it's quite far away. We picked up a, uh, a cooldown reduction thing. What is this? Oh, it's a, okay, it's a trap. Gotcha. Change your spell order or upgrade. Sure. So what was up with... Yeah, so you spawned the trap. Is that, that the thing? That's your deal? Seems to maybe be the case. So we do 50 damage. Okay, so the big AoE also does a bit of a burn. But yeah, with the, the movement, it's sort of reminding me of a... Yeah, one step from Eden. Sort of like just the pixel art, the tap movement on this sort of grid in a real-time environment. Dash ahead doing 68 damage and knocking up enemies. Gain speed doing six, 56 damage and knocking enemies you run through. Infect an enemy doing 28 damage per second. For 12 seconds on death, they infect nearby enemies. Sure. So how do we... Ah. Gotcha. So it just kind of cycles through it almost automatically. Currently, nothing is getting to the point where it matters yet. What we do or how we aim. Boss incoming. Hello. Banana. What? Ooh, it's made me really slippery. So that, that person puts down traps as they run. Okay. What on earth? I think I killed him. Okay, the infection is... What is happening? <laughs> I win. You've unlocked a guardian. Is that a character? Um... I... Oh. Okay, so you're... Oh! So we actually do get, like, a tower defense tower. So this, uh, also, this took damage when we hit that trap. So I think we throw down the infection, then we kind of just run away from that. Sort of like, why bother? Beyond? Okay, this infection seems stupid good. We do need to hit with it. It's slightly tougher to do. Uh, increase your damage on... Change your spell order. Why does that really matter? Uh, power level up. So it just increases the damage. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. It seems like maybe... Well, I was going to say maybe it would just be more logical to upgrade the fireball since it's much um, going to be gaining much more damage if that's all that power level is. It's just a fancy way of saying it's just going to do more damage. What is this melon? Attack speed up. 
I mean, our basic attack seems, like, godly by itself here. Oh, my God. Select a spell. I can get a... Wait, I can just get another plague? Seems you're doing pretty well out here. Got a minute for another challenge? I've got just the thing. Sure. Spell mayhem. What? What? I'm shooting a bunch of random spells. Okay, I have no idea what anything is. Oh, I'm moving really fast. I've teleported. I have no idea what's happening, man. So we're going through a bunch of random spells. But they're happening a lot quicker. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. I kind of, I miss having my, oh, I was going to say I miss having my intentional stuff, but this definitely feels stronger than what I had, just going for random. Hopefully it's not permanent, because I do want to have some, like, run identity. Oh, yeah, we're, we're back to it. Okay, I actually, I, may sound silly, but I like that we can have multiple of the same spell. Because otherwise, if we're just going to be keeping on adding more and more over the course of time, that's going to really, I don't know, it's going to feel like I don't really have run identity, right? Like, because what's my run? It's all the spells. So I like that we can do. I'd almost enjoy, like, I wonder if we're going to get some kind of, okay, the sound overlap is hilarious here. Okay, you, you, no, 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 no. Trixie Hobbitses. Choose your spell order. I mean, I think I will go for swapping them here. So this one already does 31 damage. So when I got it, it was already a higher upgrade, I guess. I'm just going to upgrade Meteor Blast. It'll just do more damage for us. If it's overkill, though... That's, I guess that's the thing. If Fire Blast is overkill, the only situation incre in which increasing its damage is going to be relevant will be on boss fights or something, right? So maybe Infection is just going to be the way to go for upgrading it. Boss incoming? Speaking up. Okay, so which one was the boss? I have no idea. Uh, they are attacking. Alright. Big blast back there. Did I get the boss? I heard a woo, so I assume so. Somebody's alive in the smoke there. Alright, I'll upgrade. Three damage per second for 12 seconds. So, that's kind Wait. Wait, three damage per second, 12 seconds, is a pretty big increase. A 12% power up on a damage over time seems kind of huge, right? If you're going to be doing it that way. Okay, so I guess it doesn't really... You do your thing. All right. We need to make sure the uh, the plagues land. Doing 31 there. I hope we get some kind of like relics or equipments uh, to, to make it so the runs kind of feel more different from each other. I know that that sounds, it sounds silly being able to, uh, or saying that right now, like I, when I'm on my first run, but I've, trust me, I've played enough like roguelikes and roguelites to know when something is, is missing, like, run identity, but maybe that's not the kind of thing we're going for. Uh, all right. Enemies in the outer rows are pushed towards the center and are dealt 14 or 41 damage. That actually seems really good with the, um, the, the poison. Okay, I don't know, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe the run identity is just with the spell combination. It's sort of like, 
it's important that we don't get... And it sounds silly. It's important we don't get too many spells, though. Okay. All right, so we push the, the absolute tip-top rows. So we want to move our cat, then. We want to move our cat out of the bottom row. It's like... It's kind of the only wrong place to have it. Is the bottom or the top. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. You can tell because the sound is not properly compressing. It doesn't matter too much which, which thing we upgrade. But yeah, so the cat, you know, you'll do your thing for now. And the other nice thing about uh, uh, moving things in is if they're in the middle three rows, or the, I guess the middle four, for the most part, we can hit everybody with the same fireball. There's just one single row that's going to be missing. That convergence spell is really good. Okay, here we go. And triple up. I feel like the things that are worse for us are just like really, really fast enemies, right? Oh my god. Like, that's pretty much our nightmare. Just somebody who runs up really, really quickly, which is, I think, why we're having an easier time on this wave than last. Or on this, um, yeah, this zone. Jeez. Bye-bye. Change your spell order. Sure. So we've, we've taken some wall damage. Some of our... Taken some. Oh, God. That was bad. We really can't be missing our plagues, but... It's just tough sometimes, you know? Is there, like, a... Um, Auto-cast... Oh, interesting. I think that's better. We can be a little bit more uh, intentional with it that way. We cannot waste poisons. We just need to make sure we are almost always casting there, right? Like, we don't want to be having too many situations that aren't casting. Maybe, I'm, maybe I turn it back on. I like it. But also, clearly they are wrecking me a little bit here. Okay. Oh, my word. Can I kill you, please? Are you still alive? Okay. Spread that infection, please. Chaos. I'm excited to be able to move the next move the cat next time. I hope this wall recovers. You've unlocked a guardian. Well, thank you. Hopefully, when we go to a new zone, the wall goes back up. It doesn't. Okay, you are definitely going into this row. Technically, isn't this going to do like isn't it going to do the most if we put it up here? All right, that was spooky. Oh, he, oh. All right. We also, it's worth noting we have, like, none of the meta progress stuff, so we have to keep that in mind, too. That that is very relevant. But, yeah, the cat being in the bottom row was pretty, pretty bad for us. Doesn't really make sense. But we didn't have that spell yet, so can't be mad at it. Actually, you know what? In hindsight, it might make sense to have this guy back further because then he'll hit both rows. It's weird. If he's in the front, he will definitely hit everybody in the current row he's in. But he will not as reliably hit anybody in the next row that's getting pushed down, right? Okay. Oh, my God. 
So maybe we do move him back later. Okay, right away it's sort of tough to really get anything too good going. Spread the infection, good. No! It really ramps up though, like right away it's not that bad. kind of just how it goes, though. Infection good. Spread. I do like that we have the option for the uh, the manual. I think I was just getting overwhelmed at that moment, so it's sort of tough to really, like, say whether or not that's a whole thing. Okay, movement speed up feels really weird. Doesn't feel inherently great. Defend the side rows less. We oh my god. But we can still focus on them a little bit. That went amazing. I'm just going to focus up on this initial plague. Why not? Seems you're doing pretty well. Spell mayhem. Brute drop rate up. Sure. We do the crazy chaos thing again. So we never want to step on that. But I guess it's not that big of a deal. Because it's in a row that I don't care as much about. Seems like maybe if I'm up close and personal more. What the hell? Okay, so there's some wild spells that I would love to have permanently. I would go as far as to say that these spells, like this random spell mode, is just better. Okay. But yeah, I have no idea what pretty much any of these suckers are. Oop. Just, just protect. Where am, where am I? I hate the teleporting ones. Getting the teleporting ones right now? Yeah, okay, because they teleported me up into the traps. I summoned some kind of, like, demon bear. But yeah, the teleportation spell versus... Where am I? That teleports me forward? Sucks really bad for us. Okay, so we're back to the infection angle. Oh, it feels so much better to just be at... Like, I don't know if I'm necessarily stronger, per se, but it feels a lot better to be just doing a more cohesive build. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna... So we can also just, like, hold down shifts. So when we're just trying to, like, get through this. Otherwise, yeah. If we hold down shift, we just play, like, normal. It's not like anything changed. Oh, boy. That went through there when we really shouldn't have. Chaos mode activate. Cooldown reduction. Yeah, I really do hope something gets done about the, the sound wombo combo situation. How they all just stack up on each other awkwardly. Because they're just getting so loud compared to normal. I'm so glad I have this sound a little bit quieter than I normally would. <laughs> it's because of the destruction that I'm laying down, but still. Okay, are we at a, uh, is this a boss now? Okay. Good, good. Yeah, I like this, uh, it's a clever, um, manual aim system. Like, it, it might start hurting my left pinky to just hold down shift the whole time here, but... I don't know, it's fa it's fairly elegant. It's like, at the very least, I couldn't think of a, a more elegant way to do it, so... Okay, we got bosses. Uh, the okay, okay, so we're supposed to avoid the, the fireballs. Okay, I was like... I had no idea there if I was like... 
avoid or get hit by them was unclear. Because, like, the thing is, I'm not really the main character. My, my wall is sort of the main character, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we kill the boss. So I didn't know if, like, am I supposed to take the... <laughs> take the bullet? No, what? We just need, we need to do that, like, we need a contingency plan for when it starts to stack up on each other. All right. The fireball seems to be killing anyways, for the most part. Oh, we can upgrade again? Let's just have one super plague. Humber Hills. So it's more likely to hit the ones that are like, you know, getting pushed into that lane. Oh, shoot. My goodness. The, the beginning part, it's like, it almost just doesn't really matter what you do with your spells. Like, you're going to be fine. Okay. The ladies that put down the traps, they are the most annoying so far. Because, like, I can't... If, if I let them get too far, then I sort of can't take too many too many steps. Is that the, uh, it's the first boss again. Attack speed up. Wreck him. He's dead. Bye-bye then. How many waves do we have? So we're in wave 17 right now. Womp. <laughs> I'm so glad I turned it down just a little bit. Yeah, bringing them together and then spreading the infection, it's just so effective. Max level. I don't know if the plagues stack. I guess that's something I hadn't even thought about, but I'm just assuming that they do. Okay. But I just wanted to, yeah, for my order, it doesn't matter too much. I'm sure there's some builds where it matters more than others. This one, I'd imagine it's not irrelevant, but like more irrelevant. Okay, we got a sprinter. We got a sprinter back in there. I love this cat, though. Another boss. Okay. I kill I killed it? I did? Woo! You did a murder. I can't see Jack Squat. I'm just assuming I'm doing good. Am I doing good, Papa? Oh, the infection blast. Oh my. Yeah, Convergence is weird, because it, do it doesn't do that much damage on its own. Like, even if I were to upgrade it, it would be pretty mediocre. Like, the poison does the same damage as it, but every single turn. You know? Or every single time. So, yeah, it, it does 12 times the damage, for the most part. I think the Plague is just the way to go. Multiple, multi-Plague. M -m 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 multi plague Okay. But yeah, just knowing when we can just hold down shift is helpful. We got some, like, healthier lads. We can't have that. Good. It is nice because I'm. it's more clear where to drop my plague then. Yeah, I think having um, my Golem guy back a little bit more is actually making a really big difference. It looks suboptimal, kind of, because, like, some enemies are dying beforehand, but, you know, it's hardly that big of an issue. This guy was more of a problem before. 
So I'm just gonna I'm gonna focus up on on him directly. Okay, got him. So we're going we're going through like a Kirby-esque gauntlet of all the bosses <laughs> that we've already fought. Oh my god. It seems like. We're on wave 19. I'm gonna guess wave 20. We're gonna get like a super duper new boss. It's my educated guess. I do love that I can just hold down shift the whole time now. When you get near the end of the wave, it just doesn't matter. You just kind of go go ham. Uh, more plague. Max level. Max level wave 19. I'm gonna say that wave 20 is the end, but but we already have a we already have a different um, boss that we haven't seen again. Who's it? What's his name? I don't know because they haven't said names. I guess. I will say I am uh, I'm slightly disappointed about the lack of like relics. I think that that's such a cool would be such a cool way to diversify your runs. Uh, but yeah, we're, it's worth mentioning too. Like the game is free. The reason why it, it, there's like it's this ambiguous thing where if it was exclusively free and there's no like little bit of an asterisk, um, I would not be like, you know, I'm just like this is well, this is it's it's an incredible game that is free. It's a, but it's also charging for the DLC, so like you can buy more char your more characters and more spells. Uh, so it's like. It is free, but I do have to I have to judge it a little bit as a result of that because it has that that going for it. And the DLC is not cheap, and I'm playing with it on. I think it adds some spells, four characters, four characters, and some spells. Oh my god, this character is not um, not part of the DLC, but some of the spells might be. Oh my god, they might be. Definitely, I'll say the same critique I have with this that I have with many indie games. Finding a way to compress your duplicated audio is always a great way, uh, a great thing to do. All right. Oop, wait. Oh, I thought my I thought my game crashed. That's just the end. That's so abrupt. Da -da 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 -da. What on earth? Is there like um Okay, so we won the even though there's all that meta progress, we won the first run. There better be like a difficult mode or something. Like a, a, a scaling difficulty thing. Maybe? Perhaps? An ascension system? You've unlocked challenge mode. Okay, good. Power ups. I will say, like, even though <laughs> God, this is so weird though. It, this is so weird. Like, how do I think about what do I think about this? Because it was not that difficult to win on my very first run, even though there's all this meta progress, which is typically my thing where I'm like, all right, that's great. Like, I like when you can win without it. However, I, I, it all depends on how this how the difficulty system works. Because if you think about it, like, if I can win on my first run and, and it was that easy and we can increase our power by, like, 50%, like, attack powers, like, you can make your attacks 50% stronger the base mode will turn into an absolute joke. So, I don't I don't know. It's it's super strange. Second and fourth lanes have their base health increase, top and bottom lanes restores missing health after every fight. Damage to bosses can go up to 20%. Spells da non-damaging effects go up 50%. Like these are these are some hefty increases that you get super minutely. In getting a 1% increase over the long period of time is, is really slow. Double you. Um, so I kind of want to poke in select a difficulty. So is it just normal and challenge? I'm going to try and look at the achievements or something to see if I can figure it out. Because uh, I don't know. One second. All right. Okay. So there is a standard, a challenge, and then hardcore mode. So, I also realized, yeah, like, the auto attack, deal damage to enemies around your character. This is just our basic attack. 
Okay, so what is this? Oh my god, okay, so this difficulty has like a little thing that gets dropped on the ground. Huh. Very, very curious. I want to see what's the difference between other characters. I'm assuming it's going to... So they have three of their own completely unique auto attacks. That's really cool. I will say I like that a lot, but I wish that there were more choice. I wish there were more choices in the run itself. Because this is such a cool, this is such a cool and big choice. Choosing your spells is medium interesting. Upgrading your spells power by a minute eight percent, like per tick, basically irrelevant. I almost just wish I didn't like. I, I almost just wish it wasn't a part of the game at all, right? Like, I almost just wish they just naturally got stronger because it doesn't actually matter that much, which, like, for most builds, I can imagine, since you're casting them in a fixed order and you can't cast, you know, you can't cast the same one twice, etc., like, something like that. There's no one step from Eden where you can cast one of two spells at any given time. There's none of that, so it's basically a, it's the illusion of a choice, really. Like, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Uh, so the drafting decisions are choose your auto attack and then choose your four spells uh all of which you could almost combine into like a homogenous smoothie of a spell and say that's what your one spell is your one spell is bring them into the center and spread a plague kind of because of the natural system uh, of the way the spells progress so what i propose that i think would make this super so much cooler I propose, like, a trinket system. Like, just a logical, simple trinket system. You know, maybe not even that many. Maybe you just get, like, a couple, like, two. And they're pretty impactful. But, like, even something as simple as your lightning spells, like, lightning-based spells do this much more damage. It'd be super simple, but it would give you more of a, a reason to draft things out. Or, like, you specialize in something. It's like, when you upgrade this spell... It does, you know, it's twice as effective. When you upgrade, like, X spell. Just certain trinkets like that could make your drafting decisions more unique and interesting. Um, by by quite a bit. But, like, and, and again, the game, the base game itself is completely free. I, like, I think it's very much worth your time for the price of free. Like, holy crap. However, the DLC that has, I, I looked it up, four characters and 18 spells costs, like, eight bucks. Which is not, a, it's not a lot. Uh, but it is a lot when you compare it to other games in this genre and the fact that it's four characters and 18 spells for like over twice the price of, of the other games in this genre. I think some people are going to have difficult times uh, paying that premium, but the free version is very good. Like, you know, the free version is very, very solid. But yeah, so these are some of the, these are the DLC characters. Uppercut, punch enemies in front of Cade, doing 40 damage, knocking them up. boomerang like these are some cool moves but yeah so these are characters that are tied to the dlc themselves so if we catch oh my lord okay so this is what on god's green earth so we can kind of like catch them to juggle but you... i almost like that it's really difficult to to catch them that's uh, that's pretty cool all right I don't know. It's a very neat game. It's a very neat game that I think has the potential to be, um, like, a lot better with minor choices. I will say that, like, yeah, like, I'm never, I'm never, no surprise here, I'm never a meta progress guy. I think that it actively makes most, like, I'm not a uh, stat, stat-based meta progress guy. I am a unlock spells, characters, weapons, uh, levels. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm unlock, unlock content that way guy for when there's, like, too many options right away. Uh, but, you know, this is not, it's not actively terrible, but I also think it's going to make the game confusing to balance, right? Is, is that, that's the thing, the biggest thing. Like, thank God it has the three difficulty levels. My hope, and the thing that would make my concerns moot, is if the final difficulty level is balanced, the third difficulty level is balanced around full meta progress. That is my hope. And if that's the case, fantastic. I think that's a that's that's a good middle ground. I prefer games without this kind of system, the grind grind for level ups, personally. But if you're gonna have it, having a a difficulty mode that you can select that is intended for full meta progress, 
uh, is great. So like having normal and then maybe there's the medium mode that's intended for like while you're climbing the meta progress tree and then hardcore mode is for when you've finished it. If that's the case, I think that that is a really good way of doing it if you're going to be doing it. Um, so yeah, do I recommend playing this the free version of this? Absolutely. Do I recommend picking up the uh, the DLC, which is, let me check the price again. I think it's eight bucks. It's it's eight bucks currently on sale for six seventy nine. Do I recommend the eight buck DLC for four characters and the spells? I can't really say. That's gonna be your mileage may vary. What I would recommend you do is play the free version, uh, play these four characters quite a bit, see if you want more, and then pick up that DLC. I do think it's a neat system, and it's a good way of doing it. I think that the pricing on that pack is a bit high if they're intending to make more characters. If it was like a get the free version and then buy this DLC to get any new characters re-release, I think eight bucks seems legit at that point. Because um, you can not buy it and then you just have a free game that's already still fun. But either way, it's a cool one. It's very much worth watching. I wouldn't, I would not be upset to play more of it. I, I think that it's going to have a, a lacking in run identity, unfortunately, since the majority of your run identity choices are limited to your character and then the first couple levels of each um, run. But, man, with a couple changes, this is going to be incredible. Genuinely. If, if they go for a couple changes, it'll be incredible. Primarily through, hopefully, like a trinket system. That's the biggest hope for the game. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.